Hi. Um, <laughs> that's an interesting way for me to start the video. Hi. Okay. So guys, on our sentence surgeon this week, it's an interesting sentence in my opinion. Well, more than one sentence actually. Um, it's from the book Madeline Finn and the Shelter Dog. What I did on this one is I chose to write down what she put on her posters. And if we haven't read this book yet, we should soon, so you'll be able to hear what's going on in it. But um, I liked that she was writing a message on the posters, and I thought they would be really useful for us to talk about all of these pieces, because some of these are things we've never talked about before. So let's read what she wrote on her posters. She wrote, Saturday, 10 o'clock. Come read to the shelter animals. Bring a blanket and a book. Okay, um, let's investigate what types of sentences these are. They both have periods. So that means that they're either going to be declarative, where they just state something, or it's going to be imperative, where it gives a command. Is it telling somebody to do something? Come read to the shelter animals. Bring a blanket and a book. Yes, it is. So for once, we have an imperative sentence right here. We're going to write imperative right down here. Um, and if we're reading the sentences, it says, come read to the shelter animals. Could that be by itself? Yeah, it has um, an action in it. Um, the subject is actually on both of these sentences, you. It's just not there. Um, because it's an imperative, it's commanding the person. So you. Oops, I didn't mean to do it that way. Oh no, I messed it up. All right, sorry. So in the first one says, you come read. And then the second sentence is, you bring. Um, so these sentences do make sense by themselves. Um, so they are actually simple sentences. Um, because they don't have a conjunction that combines the two ideas. They don't have something that is um, dependent and independent combined together. They're just simple sentences on their own. Technically, this one's a fragment up here, um, but they're just giving instructions. Uh, so, Saturday. That is a noun. It's a day, and it is capitalized. It's proper. This is a proper now, okay, the 10 o'clock part, I'm not going to lie. I researched this for like 30 minutes and then I finally gave up and was like, okay, this is really tough to research. So in my head, what I'm thinking is that 10 o'clock is a specific time. So it's like a place that you can reach, right? So it's either an adjective or a noun. So it's either, but it's not describing Saturday. It's like a specific place and time. So in my head, the 10 o'clock part is a noun. Um, and then I researched the o'clock part and it is short for of the clock is what that used to be longer for. So I'm going to put of the clock, which is a propositional phrase. because it starts with of and then has the clock. So that one's complicated and just for the word nerds out here, I figured we could talk about it. So that's kind of what I came up with. I'm not sure, maybe one day when you're in high school, you might have a teacher or a college professor that saw, says something completely different, but that was the best I could come up with is that ten, the ten part is a noun, it's a specific time and the of the clock part is a prepositional phrase. So o'clock. All right, um, then it says, come read to the shelter animals. So come is an action, something somebody is doing, so that's a verb. And read is also an action that somebody does, so verb, verb, verb. To the shelter animals. To is like positioning where they're reading. So it's a preposition. And the is an article. A, an, and the. Shelter animals. Okay, so animals are a thing and it ends in S, which would make it a plural 
now. Okay, now here's the tricky part, shelter animals. We know a shelter, the most, most of the time that we think of it, it's a place. It's a, so it would be a thing. It would be a noun. But shelter is describing what type of animals. They're animals of the shelter. So in this case, shelter is actually an adjective because it's describing the type of animals. And this is bring a blanket and a book. Okay, bring is another action. It's a verb. A is an article, which we have A over here too. So we'll do article, article. Blanket is a thing, so it's a noun. One blanket. And combine these two ideas, so this list, which makes it a conjunction. A book. Um, book is a thing, so it is a noun. All right, guys, so we've got two simple sentences with a fragment, technically, I think. Um, and we had some interesting stuff to talk about in this sentence this week. Bye.